What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Cat the Game on Nerd Traffic Gaming Channel, of course. Now today's video, very simple, very easy. How to put PS2 cover art for your PS2 emulated games on the Xbox Series X. Now all you need to do in this tutorial and step is you need two programs. The first one will be the FTP app, which is the file transfer protocol. That has to be installed on the Xbox Series X and on your PC you need to use the program called FileZilla. Now all you're going to do is go to my Google Drive link which is in the description of the video, download the zip file of all the PS2 images, you can see here on the screen the images, there's about 8,000 PS2 game images there. The file is about 1GB so it's not too big but it's got about 8,000 cover arts, I'm pretty sure it covers most of your PS2 games that you want to play and have the cover art for. Um, all you're going to be doing is literally sending those 8,000 images direct to your Xbox's console within the PS2 emulated Athera app or whichever one you're using. If you're using the one from my previous video then this works fine, same as Athera. Um, this method I'm not too sure works the same with RetroArch, I will cover that in a separate video. Um, so all you're going to do is transfer all the 8,000 images to your Xbox, load it up and bang, Bob's your uncle. The images will be there on your game. Very simple and easy, straightforward. So let's get straight into the video and I'll see you at the end. All right guys, so on your Xbox Series X, what you wanna do is head on over to Microsoft Edge. I'm gonna to go to the Gamer 13 website. Now this program that we're gonna download will enable us to download all different sorts of emulation apps and tools for it. So once you're on the website here, you will see this appear saying apps. So we want to just get the Gamer 13 app store. This will download it from the Microsoft Web Store. It's completely free to download. So go ahead and give this a download. Once that's done, you'll see there'll be a number of different tools and all sorts of things that you can use for your emulation programs. Alright, so once the program's downloaded, head on over to it and you'll see a load of different things that you can get. So you've got RetroArch, DuckStation, PSP, all different types of emulation programs that you can download direct now. So what you want to do is head on over down here, you can see there's a few games as well. Um, and you'll see the Durango FTP app. Now this is the app that we're going to need to install. You don't need dev mode, just leave it as retail mode. So hit the install and that will download the FTP app to your Xbox. I've already got it on my Xbox, so I'll go ahead and access it now. Alright, so once you've got the FTP app loaded, you will see your Xbox IP address appear here. All you want to go ahead and do is click the start button, and now you need to head on over to your PC on FileZilla. Alright, so once you're on FileZilla on your PC, connect to your Xbox, type in the IP address in the top part where it says host, and hit the connect. Once you're connected to the Xbox, you'll see a number of folders appear. So what you want to do is head on over into your local folder and you'll see a folder at the top called the PS2 Emulation Loverboy, something like that. So go ahead and open up that folder and in the subfolders you want to go into local state and you'll see a folder called cover art. Now in this folder here is where we're going to click and drag all the 8000 images into the file. So I've already put them in there already but you'll just see them how they transfer over and as you can see here it's transferring all 8,000 images onto the Xbox into the subfolder for the emulation app. So give this a bit of time. It only take, took me about 10 minutes or so, so it's not very long. Again, so once this is done, we can then close the FTP app on the Xbox. All right, so this is what's inside the actual folder of the PS2 cover art. There's about 8,000 PS2 game cover art. So these are all being transferred over onto the Xbox, onto the PS2 emulation app. Now all the images, if you right click them, go to properties, they're all JPEG image files but they've got specific name files saved so the game appears. So you can go ahead and see all the cover arts are here. So these are all the images that you're going to transfer over onto the Xbox. Alright now so once all the images are finished transferring you will get a successful transfer message appear in the corner. On the FTP app just hit the stop button and we're done. Right now once you come out of the FTP app, if you go into the PS2 emulation app, um, load up the program and you will see a little box appear, just like that, very quick one, so it's basic updates, you can see the Gateway Black Monday and my cover art is there. You go ahead and press the game, the game will load automatically, so any PS2 games you have on your USB, 
and you load on the game it will automatically apply the cover art if you have that game file stored so it's really simple really easy to do and the gameplay is exactly the same it doesn't affect the game files so that's the end of the video guys hope you enjoyed it hope it was easy for you to follow um, let me know in the comment section if you have any issues or any troubles like that i'll try and help you out as much as i can the next video i'm going to be working on is how to upload the cheats to use in both retro arch a sx2 and the new ps2 Loverboy emulation app and again just with disclaimer purposes this video is for educational purposes only so if you enjoy the video please don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe thank you all much so much for my new subscribers we are close to hitting 900 and we are close to hitting my goal of a thousand subscribers so if you could all help me out with that that would be much appreciated so i can keep bringing you awesome content anyways guys until the next time i'll be back soon take care